Hi there, Robin here, and in this video, we're going to be talking about the Pile PPHP 1237UV. This is their 12 inch benchmark consumer product that Pile makes. It's a 900 watt speaker with an RMS of 450 watts. We're going to be talking about all the features and benefits of getting a 12 inch speaker like this. So here we are on the back of the speaker, the main core right here. This is the heat sink for the actual AB amp that's inside of it. It is a bi amp system running it again at 450 watts RMS split between the tweeter and the woofer on the front. On the very top of the unit, when we come up here, we're going to find ourselves with a bunch of buttons plus a display. Now this unit does have built-in Bluetooth functionality to it. It also has a built-in FM tuner as well as an MP3 player used between the USB and SD card. It also has the ability to record as well, but that does take a little bit of finesse because you're recording against the microphone level input and the actual line level inputs going into the units. That's what it's gonna be capturing on the record. So if you do wanna use a record, you're gonna to have to practice a little bit before you get it just right. As for the other functions of the unit, of course we do have our mode button, which is what cycles between the Bluetooth MP3 and FM options, along with, if I put a USB stick in here, record. Button beside it is gonna be just our straight up play, then record, then we have a repeat function, previous and next. Those cover all the buttons across the actual unit. Coming down the actual speaker, we're gonna find ourselves first with an actual level control for the digital display on top, or I can also plug in a 3.5 connection to it. Below that, we're gonna have our mic jack, and just like on their 10 and 15 inch, we have an XLR three pin connection and a quarter inch connection. Followed by just below that, we've got our line level inputs. Our line level inputs are gonna be their RCA, or XLR again, three pin, which is very nice to see on a consumer product. We don't see this all the time. At the very bottom, we now have two options for output. We can either use a straight up XLR, three pin connection or a quarter inch. Your choice, depending on what you'd like to hook it up with and what cables you have available. Down the rest, we've got three knobs. The top one is the main volume control for the speaker. So after adjusting it at any volume level, I can then just turn up the whole unit by turning up the master volume up and down. Below that, we have two red knobs. Those two red knobs are going to be treble and bass. We have the ability to go plus minus 12 dB on the adjustments. Now remember, if we're bringing them up, we're going to have to modify by not having our volume full tilt on that. Now to make sure that we're not over modulated anywhere across the actual speaker, they do give you a clip light, which is offset by about three and a half dB. So if we see this light just flickering, then we know we're doing pretty good on the actual speaker. We try not to have this light on red all the time. That would be just bad for the speaker. Beside that, we do have a power indicator. This way we know the unit is on. And if at any point in time you realize that you no longer have power, you've plugged it in. This isn't a battery operated system. You plug it in and you cannot get your power light here to indicate you may want to check the actual fuse located right below. So there we are. Those are all the features found on the back of the unit. As for sound, it sounds great. This is definitely a live speaker. Uh, if you're going to use it as a traditional PA system, for sure, just plug in a microphone into it. And remember, normally when you buy a speaker, it stands not included, so you're going to want to pick one of those up. It does have a standard pole mount on the bottom of it and wheels as well to make it easier to move around. Any speaker stand with a pole mount on it will work on this unit. It is designed that way. It has a tension screw, which you don't over tighten. You just get it snug and it's going to do the job for you. I was saying for sound quality, great for live. Uh, if you're playing back for a party, you may want to have two of them. They are very loud, 12 to 15 people per speaker. So think about it. I wouldn't have it more in a backyard one speaker for a dozen plus people. If you're gonna have more than that, you're gonna to wanna to get yourself a second one. Uh, remember, it is a woofer and a tweeter, not a subwoofer. So that really says if you want that big bass, cause don't mix up loud with bass. It's bassy, it's got a lot of great sound coming out of it. It'll cover the entire octave from 20 to 20 kilohertz. It'll do that job really well. But if you want that really solid pounding bass, you're gonna need a subwoofer for that. As a speaker goes in the consumer category, probably one of the best ones you're going to find when it comes to the right features for playing music. Remember consumer, there are commercial and then, you know, that's a whole different thing. Double, triple the price, that sort of thing. But in the consumer lineup, one of the most popular ones out there. 
Again, they do make it in smaller sizes and in bigger sizes, but you are gonna give up throw distance, how far the speaker can carry the sound, and how much volume the speaker can produce overall. That pretty much covers everything on this speaker today. So we'll call it a wrap on that. So I'd like to say, hope this actually helped you out. And we'll see you in the next video, maybe. Thanks for watching and bye for now.